Well, everything was going great. <laughs> the heat thing's still there, and it's still. This is uh, plugged. Can I get that out of there? I've not got a heat gun, so. <laughs> I'm sitting here with a strip printer <laughs> and I'm going to have to order parts. Uh, it's a good job I get paid on Wednesday. But this is not what I was wanting to spend the money on. Other things to buy. Everything else is still in a new condition. So I'm just going to buy the kit and replace it. So this is literally going to sit like this. <laughs> Look at that, right in the middle of a good print. I am so gutted. <laughs> I'm going to go and drown my sorrows. No, no, I'm going to celebrate. I've got one, two good prints. But everything else, I have wasted more plastic than I have product. I've only got two good finished prints, and they're still not good enough. The, what do you call it? The support is leaving heavy marks on the frame. If I could get it to actually lie flat and straight on the platform, I would just print it as is. Because it's a stable enough shape once it gets going. But I just don't know if that would be enough to hold it. No, and to get this started as nice as it was, the temperature was sitting at hundred and uh, sitting at fifty forty five on the bed uh, because an automatic and the settings overtook it and put it to forty five. Uh, I'm going to have to go through all my. Um, Slicer settings in Prusa, Cura, and Slice 3D, 3R, and make sure they're all set down to 40. But, um, yeah, this worked perfectly. It's still stuck there. It's that good a fix. Just the temperature. The first one failed. Is there a five degree difference? And there was only half as much glue. So I'm going to turn around and say, because the glue doesn't look as though it's stuck to it in any way, shape, or form, and this one I can't get off, it was just the temperature gave it some, uh, get a better grip by. So this will be the last one for a wee while. I can get back to writing and uh, I'll just need to wait in the parts around.